are ready for puck drop. And we're underway. The Blaze will win the first draw. Halvert up through to Thompson. Richardson to register. Register with a drive, looking for a tip in front, and he's found it! I think it's Trevor Cox with a final touch, and the Devils strike to take the lead. Well, that's exactly what I said at the start of the program, that the Devils are going to get the puck back to the defenseman, then put the puck on net there, and try and get a deflection or a rebound there. I think that's exactly what happens here. Well, he's at four Coventry. Now the Devils come the other way. Reed, still Reed, and Mott shuts the door. That's a wonderful bit of skill there from Brody Reed, just to dance around the defenseman, open up that shooting lane for him. You know, he's been so hot with the stick so far. But not strong through the middle. And that's turnover by Mark Lewis to Sanford. Sanford, lovely! Stick handling moves, but he can't hit the target. Ferrara, Thompson. Thompson, great work, and that's going to be a, a penalty. That is a trip. Thompson, with great stick work, has forced the Devils into an error. And the first power play of the game goes the way of the Coventry play. Curran to Marsh and back to Curran. Devils can't clear. Kept it at the blue line. Venus in one time, and Caruth has to react. Eichstad, Eichstad finds the back of the net. It's a power play goal for the visitors. It's an equalising goal for the visitors. It's Devils one, Blaze one. So well, but now the Devils finally have some time and space to move forward. Chance for the Devils! Just wide! Cox had CJ Mott beat, you feel. Great work there. Bit of time and space. Shot comes in, Mott with a save. Ben O'Connor. Really looking for this first goal in Devil's Colours. Brawl trying to jump on the loose pack, but it's O'Connor. Long down to Reed. Crandall. Nurses it over the blue line. Mickelson. Mickelson back around one timer! And it's top shelf from Stephen Dixon! And the Devils get their second of the night. They lead 2-1. to one. And that was Gibson with a bit of a forced pass at the end. Dupont. Corner! Finished off! In the end by the Cardiff Devils. They do get their third. And that might be the third goal that gets them the two points tonight. Well, that's exactly what I said a few moments ago. Just start shooting the puck if you're this line and you will be rewarded. Your coach has given you a lot of ice time. Pay him back with that. Great rush up ice and it's going to be Josh Lamon at the back door who finally gets Match, that. But not around Lewis. Crandall. And now the Devils can put the exclamation point on this win. It's that man again. Brody Reed, who hits the fourth in the empty net. When it's an empty net situation, you want a goal scorer on the ice just to make sure you cap off the win. And who else are you going to put out there if you're Jared Scaldi? Brody Reed. He hasn't stopped scoring early in this season, and he's not going to he's not going to miss an empty net. It's exactly what the Devils needed. They managed to just kill this one with a bit of zone time. That line of Lamy. The Cardiff Devils in this third period have breached the resistance of the Coventry plays. Ice Arena Wales gets to its feet. The anniversary night has not been spoilt by the blaze. It has been celebrated with a fantastic Cardiff Devils performance. A performance that's had guile, a performance that's gonna have a little bit of afters as well <laughs> towards the end of this one, but a performance that has ignited this crowd, that has entertained us all. And we may not be done. Ruth was uh, <laughs> was trying to get himself interjected in that as well. Well, there's a game in 24 hours' time. I think uh, anything that's said at the end here can be said again at the start of tomorrow's game. But for tonight, it ends Cardiff Devils 4, Coventry plays 1.